I don't know. You want salt? This is a, a chicken uh, and asparagus dish, peas and pasta and pate and uh, pear pie. Meet Jim Haynes from think? Haynesville, Louisiana. It's good. It's very, very good. It's, yeah. you know, it is. Yeah. While this may look like a short order kitchen, it's really his apartment in Paris. It's looked like this on Sunday nights for 20 years. <laughs> Some of the 80 or 90 folks crowding inside and outside his townhouse for dinner are his friends. Some, though, he's never seen before. It's Noah's Ark. We get uh, people from Paris. We get people who are from the international community in Paris. You know, uh, there's a big international community, Americans, Germans, Italians, everything here. And then we get people who love Paris who come and visit. How do you get all these people who I guess are strangers to talk to each other? I bully them. Everyone talking? Huh? Sally, you're not talking. When you've got food, Beverly, move away from the table. I'm a big bully, and I'll be bullying you in a little while if I don't see you talking to somebody. You know? Haynes has been a college professor in Paris for 29 years. And I'm only 27 years old. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he do it? He sees the dinner as a way to get people to know each other. I'm German and I have French friends, but usually I would say it's not easy to get invited uh, at French people's houses in Paris. And so it's an opportunity to meet people you don't know. Like Carol Pinot, an American journalist working for Radio France International. No, Jim, is a, he's a great guy. I've known him for years. And it's just always a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people, a lot of very different people. Jim tries to create an atmosphere which is quite American. Just mushrooms. We have to serve everybody first. Come back. Leave a plate or like that. Serve everybody. It's unfair. I've met people here who who've been coming for 20 years. I, I think people don't come because of the food. <laughs> as good as it is, the food is just one attraction. It's the people who keep this tradition alive, week after week, year after year. Chicken.